name is Megan. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe below. We do a ton of unboxings, including subscription boxes, coffee, anything you can think of. And we review products that will help make your life easier. Today, we are doing a sort of subscription box type video, but it's also a product that will help make your life easier. So it is Rent the Runway. It comes in this bag here and so what is Rent the Runway? It is a clothing rental service and there's a couple different ways that you can use it. You can rent uh, one piece at a time and I, I don't know exactly the fee. I think it depends on the piece that you're looking to rent, which is great for like weddings or events and things like that. Or you can do like a monthly service. There's four different plans. So the lowest plan is four items a month, you get access to like a limited closet, not the full closet. I don't know exactly what that means, but it's $89 a month. And then the middle plan, which they say is their most popular plan, is $135 a month and you get access to their entire closet. You can get up to eight items a month. So what that means is you can get four items per shipment and then you can do like one full swap or you can only swap a couple items if you want to keep some of the items a little bit longer um, and that might make a little bit more sense once we go through the video a little bit the last plan they call their unlimited plan i think but i think you are limited to 16 items a month which is a lot of items <laughs> you would have to return all of your items like once a week to get all of that but it is 200 dollars a month for that 16 items and basically what you do is you scroll through the closet you add some uh, like four items to your cart check out and they'll send you those items and once you want to swap or if it's the end of the month and you want to swap and you only do like the lowest plan you just basically are charged and you have your swaps added to your account and then you can add the items to your cart and then select which items you're going to be swapping or returning you will have to return them the next day I think they have late fees I don't know exactly how that works but would not want to be charged a late fee and a lot of the items are like designer items which is something that's really cool i could definitely tell from my first shipment that the quality of the clothing was really really great which i loved because i didn't want to like spend money necessarily on that and yeah so i guess this is my third shipment but my second month for rent the runway um, i am doing like a trial so I think I'm paying $90 a month for the first two months and I'm getting like the eight pieces. So like two swaps or like one swap a month. I have really liked it so far. I haven't opened this one yet. So I'm gonna open it with you guys to show you what it looks like, but this is what it comes in. It's basically a garment bag that like zips up, which I think is so neat. And inside there will be like a slip that has the return address on it and you'll just slip it into this like plastic pocket on the other side. We will just unzip it and I'll show you guys what I got this time. We'll do a little try on and we'll talk a little bit more about uh, what Rent the Runway is. So one of the things that they like have started to talk a lot more about, and they started like when I was in college as just a rental service for dresses. I remember like looking at it to rent dresses for like formals and stuff and I never did but um, that, that's what they started as. They didn't have like a subscription service. I don't know when it started exactly, but I think it's worked out really well for their business model. They have like transitioned into having some more like casual type clothing and not just the like fancy dresses. But yeah, so this is what it looks like when it comes. And I did get five pieces this time. So you can add on a piece for like $30. I did that because of a like a special offer on my credit card where I was like gonna get cash back if I spent a certain amount of money. So it was basically free to add five or like add a piece and have five pieces. So, and then you can hang the garment bag like that, like up in your closet, or you can put the garment bag away and just hang the pieces in your closet. I've like designated a spot for it so that I know like where I'll be putting it every time it comes every month. I watched like a couple reviews before I did this and someone had a problem where they were like charged for a piece of clothing so what i've been doing 
just to make sure if like there is some sort of mishap that doesn't happen I've been taking pictures of the clothing before like when I put them in the garment bag to show that all of the pieces are there and then I've been like zipping it shut and then when I bring it to UPS to drop it off I always ask for a receipt because a lot of these clothes are designer clothes and they're worth more money than I want to spend so I just want to make sure I'm not going to be charged for them but I'm gonna just show you guys quickly what I got so they do say when you return everything you want to return it like on the hanger in the bag and then like back in the garment bag all zipped up this uh, they say the plastic they recycle it so I don't know if that means they reuse it or what but they also do all the cleaning for you so you can like wear it however many times you're comfortable and then just send it back and they'll clean it and you don't have to be responsible for any of that which is really nice so here is the first sweater after you've reviewed a couple of items and they kind of recommend like sizes for you if you say like how something fits so i did get a couple things last month that didn't really fit me well and i like put that in and so now they can like recommend a better idea of like how some different brands might fit me and that was the other nice thing about having the swap is that uh, if i didn't like something then i can just send it back and get something else but they if you do try it on with in like i think the first day which I never get to, of receiving your package, then you can do, like, I think a didn't fit swap for free. I just didn't get around to it, so definitely something to keep in mind. In terms of shipping, they do get to you pretty fast. It's, like, taken at the, like, most, like, three days, I think, to get to me, but usually it's, like, two days. So it's pretty fast shipping. Uh, this top is a BB Dakota size medium, like, mock neck uh, sweater and it has kind of like poofy sleeves you can definitely tell like some of the pieces have been worn they do have like a what's new section if you want to wear something that no one else has worn yet but you may not know how it'll fit you if you haven't tried the brand before and there's no reviews yeah there's definitely like some pilling but it's still in good condition and i don't really mind it's nice to just mix up your wardrobe sometimes but not have to like purchase a new wardrobe to do that so this is one of the sweaters I also got. I got a lot of sweaters. It's cold right now. This is by, this still has a tag on it. Or maybe this was in there as what's new section. I'm not sure. It's called Love Wit. I thought it was something a little bit different than what I, like patterns than I would normally wear. So that would be a fun thing to try. I did try this really awesome like fuzzy jacket in my last one that I loved so much. I think I have a picture I'll like put up here for you guys. But I got another jacket to try. It's just something that is a little bit different and not something that I'll gravitate to every year, but it's fun to try like new trends, which is one of the reasons I thought it would be a really fun thing to do a rental service because it's really hard for me to get into trends, but if I want to try it, why not rent it instead of purchase the clothing that I like may never actually wear. So yeah, this one is by Sweet Baby Jamie and you can tell it's like a super good quality and thick material. It's like lined on the inside. This is by 1520 and it's a size small. It's so, so soft, but that is what it looks like. Also, another thing they do do is they add these like rent the runway tags to all the clothing. So that they can keep track I think but also it's an easy way for you to tell in case you forget for some reason uh, what your Rent the Runway clothes is versus your regular clothes. And then the last thing is this pair of jeans. I will, they're Madewell jeans. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try these on with some of the sweaters and I'll show you guys what they all look like. So this is the sweater. It's definitely a little bit big but I kind of like sweaters that fit like this. I probably could have gotten one size smaller but I do really like it. It's so soft and comfortable and I'll just be wearing it to work a couple times. I am wearing the jeans from Madewell. I wanted to try these because my sister actually bought these jeans and they look so good. So I figured I could like try them and see if I really like them. They are uh, the perfect vintage like Ainsworth I think or something like that. And they're really comfortable. I do like them. So yeah, you can also purchase clothes from Month Around Life. It's something that you end up liking a lot. Most of their clothes are like way more expensive than I would want to buy, but they do have Madewell, which is expensive, but like not insane compared to some of the things that they have. <laughs> so this is the next sweater. It fits me a lot better than that one. I think that one's supposed to be oversized. This one is just like the right amount of fit, I feel like, and it comes up a little bit shorter. It is much like of a louder, it's like a muted loud pattern. I don't know, because of the colors. Um, I think I like it. It's definitely different. 
And yeah, it definitely looks good with these jeans. <laughs> okay, so this is the BB Dakota. This is a size medium. And I think it's supposed to be cropped. But man, I'm glad that I had reviewed the other top because if I had gotten the size small, it would have been tiny. I do like it. It's different for sure. I think I really love this color. And I'm... I know like the shorter like cuts now are supposed to be like more in style. I just haven't really quite jumped on that boat yet. So I thought, you know, try it out with Month the Runway. And I like how the sleeves are like a little bit poofy, but it's not too much. This doesn't really match. Ooh. I'm just gonna try this jacket on. definitely love it it is oversized the sleeves are like the right length for me though so this is a size small I think I'm like 5'4 I'm not sure um, so it does hit like mid thigh uh, on the long part of the like coattails or whatever and yeah I like it a lot I guess let me know do you guys have you guys tried like any rental services? I know there's a couple other ones. I think I want to try Newly also. I think they have more casual clothing than Rent the Runway does, as well as like more brands like Anthropology and Madewell. I think I'm gonna try that one month coming up, but I am gonna be pausing my Rent the Runway. I have enjoyed having it for like this past like month and a half time period. It's just pretty expensive. Um, so I think for me, it's gonna be something I do like every so often, as well as like when I'm planning to go to a wedding or something, then maybe I'll pay for like a month of rental service so that I can try a couple dresses and then also like some new clothes out. Yeah, so overall, definitely really, really enjoy Run the Runway so far. Um, in my first two bags, I did get like these really cute little sample size things. I think I got like Chanel mascara and like perfume like samples in my last bag. And then the one before I got like Sunday Riley CEO vitamin C cream. They were both like really tiny samples, but I don't know if that's normal or not. I didn't get anything this time. So maybe it's just like random. I thought that was a really nice touch and let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you next time.